Let's get the party started, boys. A novelty product with serious potential. If there's a market for this product, I will find it. I'm Steve Brooks. And I'm Greg Jury, and we're good mates and business partners from Victoria. We actually met each other from beach volleyball and volleyball circles. We obviously had a lot in common. Very competitive people and, and were driven and uh, we just hit it off straight away. The idea for the product, it was like someone just opened up a beer and I was like, the, uh, the light bulb went off. <laughs> it was like, this, is, this would be a good, a good little idea. An investment from the Sharks would, would just be incredible to get their experience and their knowledge and their network um, to help us really take that next step. Yeah, I think today could change the future of our business because where we are at the moment is a really exciting position. We feel with uh, some of the expertise of one of the Sharks, we can really take our product to the next level. Hi Sharks, I'm Greg Jury. I'm Stephen Brooks. And we're the founders of the world's newest talking bottle opener, Bottle, bottle Pops. Pops. Sharks, we're here today seeking 95,000 for a 15% share in our company. And like every great idea, it started with a beer. And on the way back from uh, Europe playing beach volleyball, I stopped by Japan and a gentleman opened up a beer and that's when the idea hit me. And I thought I need to have a range of sports balls with uh, sound files inside to enhance and, and, and make the sports enthusiasts of the world enjoy a beer or, or a beverage of some sort. From that, uh, we spent three years of research and development and the last year, we launched Bottle Pops. So Sharks, our first range of Bottle Pops here. As you can see, we've got a range of 14 different sports, some of the most popular sports around the globe. Now, every single unit's actually got up to 35 different sound files. Now, they're played randomly once per use. Now, the actual functionality, Sharks, I'd like to show you, is a simple push-down mechanism. So it actually goes over the top of a bottle, you push down and the mechanism inside pops off the lid and also captures the lid to a magnet inside the cylinder here. So I'll just give you one quick demonstration. Over the top. Pulls the trigger! Go! <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Greg. So, Sharks, we know you've had a huge day today, so we've actually gone to the trouble of getting your own refreshments yourself so you can enjoy the Bottle Pops experience oh, all to fantastic. yourself as well. Greg and Stephen, just to confirm, that's $95,000 for 15%. Correct. We've uh, got a golf one for you, mate, uh, because right. I know you're a golf fan. And, John, we know you're, uh, you're a mad uh, rugby... <laughs> that's a great idea. If I wore pants like that, I'd have to kick my own ass. You have 35 different sound bites. Does it go back to one at the end of 35, or is there only 35 in it and then it goes quiet? Battery life in them is seven to 900 presses. Uh, they, they play it on a random playlist. Some have uh, 15, uh, depending on the length and what kind of product we, we have. For example, we have the Magic 8 Ball, which has a basic yes, no, maybe answer. Got the Magic 8 Ball? Yep. yep. Uh, that one there has 35 sound files in it. So, Steve, what I'll get you to do is just ask a, ask a yes, no question. <laughs> Go on, ask a yes, no um, question. Is this worth investing in? No, dear. Oh, no! <laughs> Hang on, best of, best of three. Best of three. Best of three. <laughs> Surely. Do, do you have a good value proposition? You're so in. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take That's that. Different. We'll leave it as it is, mate. Leave go. on a high. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got sales already by the sound of it? Yes, we, we, we launched in, uh, in November 2013. We've sold uh, 34,000 units in Australia. Wow. And sorry, just in dollar terms, what is that, mate? About 193,000. Our online recommended retail price is 14.95. Who's your um, customer? Well, actually, believe it or not, there's, uh, it's used as a gift gifting line a lot. So there has been uh, predominantly a, a lot of females for, for gifting. What's the forecast with an investment for the next 12 months? Well, we, we, we hope to sell 230,000 units next year. What the, would that give you in revenue? 370,000. Greg, it looks like there'd be a great opportunity subject to licensing to go to NRL clubs or AFL clubs and put logos there. Have you looked into that? Licensing is definitely something we want to uh, look into further. Absolutely. Well, so what's the 95,000 bucks for, guys? Uh, well, moving forward, it's, it's, it's for us, uh, 
uh, supporting our, our sales and marketing mainly, growing forward and, and looking at our international uh, opportunities because we are... So are there's none of that for licensing for this sort of stuff? There's no... No. No, not at all. For us, it's about getting our product, our brand Bottle Pops out there is number one. So $95,000 is what then? Global expansion? Global expansion. Have met with agents in the US, uh, and we're also looking at uh, at the UK and uh, United Emirates at the moment. And what's the copyright around the sound files? Because presumably you're downloading the sound files. From no, somewhere. no, we self-recorded the sound files at a studio with oh. professional commentators. Right. So there's no, you're not paying anyone else for copyright. Correct. Your logo is quite confusing and there's a lot happening on it. So there's some Chinese, there's some music, there's the word trademark, there's bottle tops, there's brand. So could you explain the logo Absolutely. to me? Absolutely, I was hoping to ask that. Uh, it's actually Japanese writing and it actually says bottle pops uh, because of the story. The idea originated in, in Japan uh, and the functionality, actually the opener itself was, was actually by a Japanese uh, designer back in 1983. Wow, so it's okay. respect to him as well. Um, and obviously that patent's expired in 2003. And so it, there's no patent here, it expired you? Yes, no, no, there's a patent on the sound and the balls. So we've actually... Oh, our patent. Uh, our, our patent, that's our patent that we've... Uh, we've appl international patent that we've applied for. Uh, it's a patent pending, obviously. Uh, not not and the opening mechanism. Not for the opening mechanism, but for the, the activ activation of the sound chip and the range of balls that you see. So you have to buy this opening mechanism from someone else? Correct. Yeah, Do correct. they have a monopoly on that market? Uh, do they have a monopoly? I would say no. There's a few manufacturers in China that make that opener. Look, I think you need to get your retail down under $10. Especially in, in America, where there is a much greater price sensitivity. I'm going to be cheering you on the sidelines, but I'm out. Thanks, John. Thanks, sir. I think it makes a wonderful promotional product. So I see many applications for it. However, it's not really a space that I think I can add much value to. So, um, I'm out. Thank you. It's, you know, when I first saw it, I must admit, I went, why? <laughs> I think that was a real girl thing, like, would you mean anyone really do that and put it in their bag and open their bottle and... Boys toys. I know, I know. And then I thought about my four men in my family and I go, yeah, yeah, I can see this. <laughs> But I just, I like it, but I don't love it. And for me, I've got to love it. So, you know, good luck, but I'm out. Thank you. I love the product. I like you guys are selling fantastically. Thank you very much. Let's get the party started, boys. I'll give you the 95 grand for 25%. Uh, How's that? Thanks for your offer, Steve. So 95K for 25%. I love this business. Um, ask me questions if you think I'm a worthwhile investor or not. That would uh, be, that's exactly what we're going to ask. What can you bring for the, to the business, Steve? $95,000. <laughs> yeah, that is a great, <laughs> <laughs> that's a great help. Um, and a massive amount of enthusiasm. I think we should just get into this and get some bidding going because this is just fantastic. And your US patents cover the ball and the sound bites for the US and other it's places. It's an international patent pending. pending. Yeah. Uh, I'm very interested as well, and I spend a lot of time in the States, so I'm clearly interested in the US market. It's a pretty huge market, of course. There's, it's a crowded space for things to do with sports brands. I'm a bit troubled with your costs, though, because I think, like John, I know enough about the US market and pricing to know that I'd like a bit more definition around the cost to get it down. I'm 
I'm tempted by Steve's $95,000 for 25%. And you don't want to sell 50%, do you? You don't want to sell a chunk to Steve and I, do you? Greg and Stephen's novelty bottle opener has already drawn the attention of one shark. I'll give you the 95 green for 25%. Uh, How's that? But Andrew Banks has a different proposition in mind. And you don't want to sell 50%, do you? You don't want to sell a chunk to Steve and I, do you? Fifty percent is uh, is a majority share together, and uh, that's 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 a con you know, a controlling position you'll put put you guys in. You know, it, it this is an easier business if Andrew gets involved. What can you bring, Andrew? Like, what's your network in the US? Um, I know it exists, so what do you, th what do you think? I, I think if there's a market for this product, I will find it. Would there be, um, is there an opportunity if we are able to just have uh, uh, a moment just out the, yeah. out the back to quickly sure. go over our numbers? We valued it at 25, so if you had Steve on board, we can just take Steve and go because but Andrew's really important to us. Andrew's crucial. Absolutely. We could offer 150,000 for 40%. It's okay. Yeah. So 75 each, 20% yep. each. <laughs> what, what did you think? We, we, we'd obviously love to have you both on board. And what we'd like to make a counter offer for is for uh, both of you for 20 20 percent uh, for 75,000 each do you read minds <laughs> you've been reading minds. Did, you, did you actually bug this is one of those actually listening device <laughs> Steve I'm good Good. Yeah. 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 So you asked for $95,000 for 15%, so you're getting $150,000 for 40%, 20% each. Hey, hey partner. Hey, look forward to it. Good on you guys. Thanks very much for your time. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Looking forward to it. Hey. What up, mate? Good work. Yeah, we're really, really happy. The two sharks that we definitely had high on our agenda of, of gaining interest, so we're, we're, we're just over the moon.